Theory of change is a theory of how change is expected to take place with the type of intervention or the project that we plan to implement. Theory of change is a powerful tool that can be used to create a roadmap from start to the end results of any project. Theory of change is usually shown as a diagram or flowchart with all the possible narratives of change. We use it to design effective programs that are tailored to address specific issues. It allows us to map out the steps needed to achieve our goals, making the path to success more transparent. For example, imagine we want to reduce poverty in a community through certain intervention. The theory of change thus helps us to think about the root cause of the problem. It encourages us to identify and analyze the underlying issues that contribute to poverty. It guides us to develop interventions that are targeted and effective. So we can see a theory of change is about asking critical questions like how and why. How will our actions lead to desired outcomes? What steps are necessary to get there? Why do we believe these actions will be effective? What evidence supports our approach? By answering these questions, we gain clarity and confidence in our strategy. We can then design projects with a higher chance of success, ensuring that our efforts lead to meaningful and lasting change. But how do we construct a theory of change model? Building a theory of change model is a collaborative process that requires input from various stakeholders. It involves stakeholders at all levels, ensuring that every voice is heard and considered. This includes the beneficiaries, staff and partners, all working together towards a common goal. By working together, we ensure that the model is comprehensive and reflects diverse perspective, making it more robust. The first step is to define the long-term goals. These goals should be ambitious yet achievable. What change do you want to see in the world? This question guides our vision. Once we have a clear vision, we can identify the outcomes needed to achieve it. These outcomes act as milestones. These outcomes are specific and measurable changes in behavior or conditions, providing clear targets to aim for. Next, we outline the outputs and activities required to achieve these outcomes. Outputs are specific products or services that emerge as a result of activity. Activities are the specific actions that we take. We then identify the resources and inputs needed to implement these activities. This includes time, money and human resources. By mapping these connections, we create a visual representation of the theory of change, making it easier to communicate and understand. It is important to think and record both intended and unintended results that may occur to make our theory of change more comprehensive. Thank you.